right now with breaking news. And we begin at 11 with that breaking news. A patient in Sarasota is being treated as Florida's first presumptive positive case of the coronavirus and another patient being treated in Hillsborough County. Governor Ron DeSantis declaring a public health emergency. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King is live from the Florida Department of Health. And McKenna, what do we know about these cases? Well, Isabel, we know that both of these patients are adults. The first patient is from Manatee County and the second patient is from Hillsborough County. That's according to the Florida Department of Health, who says the CDC still has to confirm those tests. Now, we're still working to confirm the age and gender of these patients. We know that the Hillsborough County patient recently traveled to Italy. It's unknown whether the Manatee County patient recently traveled abroad. That Manatee County patient is currently being monitored at Doctors Hospital of Sarasota. ABC Action News learned of reports of a positive test in that patient in Sarasota at 9.30 a.m. Sunday, but a representative with the Florida Department of Health in Sarasota originally denied those reports as a hoax. The Florida Department of Health only now confirming the positive cases 12 hours later. Now, the Florida Department of Health saying despite these confirmed cases, the risk to the Florida public remains low, and Governor DeSantis is planning to hold a press conference here at the Florida Department of Health Tampa Branch Laboratory Monday morning. That's tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. We'll, of course, stream that on our streaming news channel. Now, this is a developing story. We'll keep you posted with any updates on air, online, and on our mobile app. Reporting live in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News. McKenna, thank you. And tonight, there are 184 people now under observation in the state. That is up from 173 people last night. The Department of Health says 15 people have tested negative for the virus. Eight are now waiting for the results. And nationally, seven people have recovered. Today is the last day of quarantine for Phil and Gay Quarter. This is the Crystal.